Hey guys. I've been a little bit sick lately, so my voice is a little bit raspier, maybe. I don't know if you can really tell. Especially because I don't talk too much in any of my videos so far, so there's not really much to compare it to. I'm just, um, working on my homework right now. I'm in college, so I get these lovely activities like soap carving. Right now, I'm supposed to be making a kitschy calla lily. Is that how you say it? Kitschy? Kitschy? Kit I don't know. Oh, well. Yeah. But I also wanted to make this for my mom just because I know that she likes calla lilies pretty well. So hopefully it's not, well, it's not going to be that cheesy. I didn't really make a complicated design because we just had to use a bar of soap and I don't know. I've never done this before. So yeah. It's actually my third attempt because we're supposed to make a couple of them, I guess, the, just to test uh, test our abilities, see what we can do. And this one seems to be going pretty well. The second one was a complete failure because, well, I made the. Uh, the front part of it a little bit too fragile and it kind of broke off and that's really I've been having problems with its fragility because uh, mostly I had problems with these stems because this is like really oh <laughs> yeah it's kind of thin and not very stable and this one's already falling apart right here <sighs> But, oh well. I'm learning. Trial and error, I guess. But yeah. Oh my. Just <laughs> thinking in 3D was really kind of a big step, too. Because you just start out with like a block of soap. And then you have to think of how you can go in and like create these shapes and get into that space. And it was just a whole new concept, so. But it will become pretty useful in my future, I guess, since I'm wanting to go into game design. And that's actually my major, it's game design and development. And, oh gosh. Yeah. It'll be pretty interesting. I can't wait to actually get into the whole computer art section, but being a freshman, I didn't really get to do as much of the major related classes as with the uh, general courses. I'm in math right now, and that's uh, not going the best, but I'll work on it. I've always known that I've had problems with math, so I'm aware of my troubles. Hopefully I don't break this one again. Like, I'd really hate to break it right at the end. That's how the first one went. Was I had gotten all this done and I had gotten everything shaped out pretty nice. I tried to stay more general so that in case it did break, I wouldn't have gotten all detailed. But I got most of this pretty well shaped out, and by the time I got to the stem, it just broke apart. And, oh, it's frustrating, but it's kind of fun. I'm really surprised at how easy it is to carve into the soap. Well, I guess soap is pretty soft. And I got um, soap with aloe in it, so <laughs> I just thought maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. I 
I have a choir tomorrow. And, well, I was already feeling ill on Monday, and I had choir then. And just singing the notes, it's not good for you. I don't suggest that people sing when they're ill, and usually I don't, but I've had different teachers with different ideas about that, where some would want you to just stay quiet and keep your mouth shut so that you can get better and not damage your voice. But others want you to power through. It seems that my voice always gets really bad and ill. I get really sick. Right around times where I have to do a lot of singing. Like, well, lots of concerts. <laughs> I've gotten pretty sick and had to lip sync, which, don't tell my teachers about that, but yeah. And I've been in a lot of musicals in high school and for the auditions. Not for the actual shows, thank goodness, but for the auditions, I often get ill. I wonder if it's just like a mental thing. Like, I know when things are coming up and so my body starts to go or all this like stress and stuff or something. I don't feel stressed, but it's in my head. Yeah. And then it's pretty ill this past week, but and there were musical auditions going on, but I didn't take part because I don't know. Just the rest of school is already quite a bit for me, so I don't really have time this year to fit in musical, which is pretty sad because I'd really like to be in one. Like, especially a college musical because they probably take it more seriously than high school. Because some people in high school, they just, uh, they didn't take it quite as seriously as maybe they should have. I mean, our musicals are pretty good in school, but, yeah, I put in a lot of hours practicing for those, just in high school, but if I had to do that again in college, I don't think I'd make it. Not my first year. But yeah, maybe, maybe in my upcoming years, I'll be in a musical. So I have to learn to balance the time for that. So long as I'm taking math. I really can't focus on anything else. <laughs> Pretty much bombed my math quiz today. I don't know what it is. Like, I see the problems in class, and I understand, like, as we go through them, I understand it pretty well. But then, on the quiz, I look at it and I recognize it, but I just go absolutely brain dead. Like, I cannot remember how to start it. And if I could start my problems, usually I can finish them pretty well. But <laughs> I just cannot remember how to start it and I go brain dead and I feel like I want to cry and I just get so frustrated. I swear I've cried <laughs> like 50 times just from math tests. Ugh. I don't cry in movies as much as I do from math. Maybe I should just leave it, <laughs> just with a full black of a heart, but I don't know. I really like the STEM thing more, so if it falls apart, <laughs> I had a chance to stop. I don't even know how I should go about this, like, <laughs> if I do it the same way as I did before, it'll... <laughs> turn out as it always did and fall apart. We should get that knife out. Oh, I don't know. It's probably better so I don't chop my fingers off.
today and trying to get the extra material out. Or, oh jeez. Don't want to break it. I've already had to work on two others. This is my third try. Ugh. Oh, and this is from an 8 a.m. class. Oh my gosh. You go to college, try to schedule yourself for later classes. Well, not like super late, but just try not to wake up at 7 every morning. Because it gets exhausting. You probably, unless you got like a really quiet floor or something, if you live in the dorms, you probably are not going to be falling asleep early enough to get 8 hours. Oh my gosh, I sure don't. <laughs> I mean, I try to go to bed early sometimes. Whenever I like plan it so that I can go to bed early, I actually fall asleep later than I normally would. So that never really seems to work, and it just does the exact opposite. And I always have a lot of noisy people coming through my room. <laughs> you know who you are. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this uh, actually led to me missing one of the choir concerts already in college, which is not good. Don't do that. But yeah, I overslept that because I was so exhausted. And we were singing in the Mall of America and I actually got a friend to drive me out there because... I'm pretty close to that, which, thank goodness for her, because I have, <laughs> well, I hope, no, I probably would have failed the class if I had missed both. Like, there were two that day, and I missed the first one, but I made it to the second one, so. Yeah. That was the only one I've missed so far here, but, which is good. But it's sad that I even missed one. I'm surprised can be still in the choir though, because I think we had to audition for it. It sounded like we did, because at first I thought it wasn't an audition choir. But then the director or <laughs> conductor, whatever you want to call him, professor, he made us all sing for him and give him our range and he could judge the quality of her voice and stuff and I guess some people didn't make it in. But he let me back in for another semester even though I messed up and didn't make it to all the concerts the first time. Unfortunately, while taking choir, I'm missing out on taking some other important classes because they will put me over my credit limit. Ugh. But I guess I really enjoy music, and whenever I'm not in classes that help me expand my range and keep singing, then I lose my higher range and I can't be a soprano anymore unless I warm it back up again by usually taking these classes. That's the only time I can really sing loud because this school <laughs> none of the walls are soundproof. I'm actually in the uh, practice rooms right now and this is not soundproof. The door doesn't even go all the way to the floor, so it's a big hole. And if you are in a room next to somebody else, you don't even have to be next to them. You can hear them. Ugh. I usually go in here to study because it's really peaceful. Like, there are study rooms, but I really like these rooms because they're very nice and cozy. Even though the walls could be painted up better color, but <laughs> a little bit more warm in color. But yeah.
Getting there. Haven't broken the stem yet. <laughs> Making it a little bit thicker than earlier versions. Learned that that's important. I wonder if I should leave it so that they're attached there. That's not very stem like either. But I'll definitely leave it for now. And then, like, maybe that'll be the last thing I deal with. The smell was really getting to me the first day. It's just like, <laughs> you don't get used to it. It's just something that keeps on reappearing in your nostrils. And... But since I've been getting ill, <laughs> I can't smell very much anymore. So it's just a faint scent of soap, and it's not so bad. I think it's a good thing I'm not using an actual knife because I would definitely have cut myself a billion times. I have knives here. Like I have a little knife set of exacto knives and such. Or whatever you want to call them. But I don't know. I feel like whenever I try to use them, I accidentally cut off a little bit more than I intended to. They're a little bit more difficult to control for me. So, right now I'm using a nail file. It's got the rough edge, but that just picked up a lot of soap. And then, yep. It's not sharp at all. It's just good enough to get through soap. Mm, I need to get back to my room soon. They're gonna lock the doors. And then... Love to use my card again, but every time I've tried to use my card, I can never do it myself. Like, I always need someone to help me. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can't time it right for when the door is unlocking itself to when I swipe my card, but yeah. Usually I wait, well, I don't wait for people to come through, but usually I get there and people are moving through, so I just run to the door while it's still open. <laughs> Look a little foolish, because people are like, why do you need to run? Because you have a card, so you can just open the door when you get there, but I can't open the door. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Hmm, this is getting a little thin. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, I still have that leaf to do. Eh, maybe I'll leave it. It's not that bad. That part. I won't leave the leaf though, it's just strange. Except, I don't know. What does a calla lily leaf look like? Look it up. I thought it curled a little bit. Calla lilies are so elegant, aren't they? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I'm just talking about random stuff now. I think of a better topic complain to you about all my troubles in college. You guys want to hear about that? Oh my gosh. College life is pretty interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a super outgoing person, so living in the dorm was an, is an interesting experience. But I'm having fun with it. I like my roommate pretty well. She's nice. People get pretty loud though on the weekends. I live on the quiet floor where we're supposed to be quiet by 8 o'clock on the weekdays. And quiet is defined as that when you're in your room, 
you have a noise limit to two doors down. But honestly, I can hear people all the way across the hall. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I've learned to sleep through a lot, though. Like, that is <laughs> one of the first things I learned in college. It wasn't I think in my classes. It was how to sleep through a lot of noise. Except it's not always too good because apparently a girl walked into my room because I didn't lock the door at that time. But she walked in and grabbed a roll of tape and taped my roommate's slipper to the outside of our door. And I slept through all of it. Like, I didn't hear her come in, didn't hear her find the tape, and tape a slipper to the door. Oh, gosh. No. I knew who that girl was, but what if, what if some random person walked in and could, like, steal stuff? <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't give any ideas. Hopefully none of you go to the same school and know who I am. <laughs> decide to <laughs> walk in my room, steal some tape. This is a really strange leaf. It's not even leaf-like at all. What the heck? It's like a cup. Oh, fudge. <laughs> I have really terrible accuracy. It's one of my biggest problems. When I'm drawing pictures, my lines, like, it takes me a couple tries just to hit the mark that I wanted. So, the lines on my paper always look super wobbly. You would think that would be good, like maybe it would bring in motion or something, but nope. Not quite. At least the soap is pretty supple, so you can kind of just move it around with pressure, but I've broken it a couple times because of that, so I don't rely on that so much. I wonder how long this video is. I can't even see. My laptop decided to go dark on me to save some power. I'm not bothering to move the bed so that I can see anything. I think I have time in class to work on this later, so I'll just call it quits pretty soon. Deal with it some more later. It's looking pretty odd. <laughs> hey, this is the third soap carving I've done. And I had to choose a cat lily. Yeah, that's uh, not the most simple. Thing. Like maybe for more experienced people, they're like, oh yeah, well that's easy, you just do this and this and this and this. But for someone like me, yeah. Oh gosh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> that would suck. No, oh, I should make it more textured in there. Here's a leaf anyways. So if this is a little too textured, it's a petal. It's supposed to be kind of smoother than this, but... I'm afraid that if I keep scratching it up too much, I might rip through again like I did last time. Ooh. Sometimes my nails get in the way too, like, because I put my fingers so close to the end, I, like, end up scratching it. Mm. Well, I guess. Pretty much done with this for now. Come back to it later, maybe to smooth stuff out. I wonder if it would help if I like immersed it underwater and that would like smooth out at least. <laughs> maybe at least get rid of the little bits that are sticking to it. 
Ugh. Kitschy calla lily? Maybe. A little cheesy. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of calla lily. Calla lily. Eh. Whatever. It's better than this one. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. It's terrible. <laughs> It's even bigger. Wow. See, that turned out pretty well. Alright. Well, thanks for listening to my ramblings, I guess. Um, and talk to you again soon.